Arthur Godfrey's No Talent Scout. And now, here's that man himself, Arthur Godfrey. Thank you very much. Now, we'll want to welcome you first to No Talent Scouts and uh, introduce right away, because the time is flying tonight, our first No Talent Scout, Mrs. Meridino. Did I, <laughs> did I uh, um, pronounce your name correctly? Merendino, that is correct. Merendino. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, what was your maiden name? My maiden name is Palmer. Palmer. Mm -hmm. Your first name? Betsy. Betsy. You Betsy may call Palmer. me Betsy. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> do you, uh, Mrs. Uh, what was Marianne. your husband do? Oh, he's an obstetrician, gynecologist. Oh, very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, you, uh, you, you are so pretty. You must have been in show business or something. Oh, well, I kicked around a while. <laughs> Not at all. I didn't get the break, and um, that's why I'm here tonight, really. I know a girl who needs a break very badly. Oh, tell us about her. Well, uh, her name is Mrs. Allen, Jane Allen. Jane. And uh, she's a girl who's been in the business, and she's done a lot of things, but she just never quite made the grade. She needs this one big break. Now, she uh, sings, she dances, uh, she has played many roles. She's playing a very important role now, Mother. Ah. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, see, I was just going to ask you the, the role of Mother, though. No, wait a minute, you can't be a professional mother. I was going to say you... Well, uh, she could combine her profession along with it. She's you, very, you see, on, on our No Talent Scout show, we uh, insist that everybody have some professional experience. Oh, well, she has had experience. Ah. She just hasn't had the break, that's all. Oh, well, now we'll try to provide the break. Right. Thanks to you, Mrs. Merendino. We are very happy to present Miss... No, uh, Mrs. Mrs. Mm -hmm. Jane Allen. Somebody goofed. She was supposed to have a gong. We know. <laughs> the next No Talent Scout is uh, Mr. Gordon Hathaway. Hi ho, Arthurino. <laughs> now, Mr. <laughs> it's so nice to see you, Mr. Hathaway. So nice to be together. <laughs> what you do for a living? I'm an account executive on Madison Avenue, and I have several accounts, among them tea, scrap iron, and just fat back. <laughs> <laughs> tea, scrap iron, and fat back. Yes. <laughs> Sounds like a roster of Godfrey sponsors in the morning. <laughs> now, may I ask whom you've brung? Well, oh, aren't we talking funny? <laughs> I brought a chap, Arthur. That's a mimic. And uh, I've, he's a boy that worked in our stock room. And he's talented and has a very exciting way about his work in mimic ride. In mimic <laughs> would you? Would you... Uh care to uh, tell us his name? Well, I want that as a big surprise, but I will add, Arthur, that he has played in small clubs in Cairo, Egypt. <laughs> and uh, an enormous hit in Alaska with the trappers who are crazy about that. <laughs> and I'm ready to bring him out now if you want him to. Oh, please bring him. Yes. All right. I guess I have to go off and get You're him. You're going to go get him. My, my. <laughs> I only do one bit of mimic cry, <clears throat> and this is it. 
No talent scout is a Miss Carmel Quinn. <laughs> Miss Quinn, may I ask where you're from? I'm from Ireland. And how long have you been off the boat? Well, I'm here about four years, Mr. Godfrey. Four years. Yeah. And what are you doing in America? Well, I'm living here. <laughs> Well, I hope. Oh, yes, I've been very fortunate. I like it very much. You uh, married since you came here? I married, indeed I am. Before you came here? Before I came here. Do you have any little quins? I have little fullers. Little fullers? Yes. Ah, uh, the plot thickens. The husband's name is Fuller. Yes. Um, whom uh, have you brought? Well, Bang. I brought you um, a musical team. <laughs> <laughs> a musical team? Yes. Yeah. They're a boy and a girl. Oh? They're called the Redheads. Oh, is that so? Yes. Do they have any professional experience? That's the important thing. Well, they, the girl has done a lot. She, you might well say, she's the star of the team. Uh, and the boy? He's done a little here and there. He's a bit weak, you know, but she helps him. Then I know exactly who it is. May we present the musical comedy team of Quinn and Godfrey. Now, Michael McGilligan, one fine day, got a lot of money from the USA. Off the death of his Uncle Joe, he got a million and a half or so. It's a McGilligan will give a fancy ball down at the old ancestral ball. Invite to the neighbors, everyone, for to join in the music and to have some fun. Hey! So uh, we all went down to make McGilligan's ball. Where well, they had to tear the paper off the wall to make room for all the people in the hall. All oh, the girls and the boys made a devil of a noise at Mick McGilligan's Wall. Very well, audience. Now, will you be so kind as to indicate by your applause which of these three acts you'd like to see win our No Talent contest tonight? Uh, first of all, I present them in the order in which they originally appeared. Miss Jane Meadows. Very good, very good. Wow. All right, and Mr. Henry Morgan. <laughs> And last, uh, Quinn and Godfrey. Yes. Nick McGilligan's ball. <laughs> now may I have a picture, please, of the three meters. Now let's see. Jane Meadows got 92. Mr. Morgan got... One moment, please. I tied us all up with a reason. My secret, Mr. Morgan and Miss Meadow, is that uh, you have won, along with us, an appearance on my CBS show tomorrow morning. <laughs> tomorrow morning? Oh. And, uh, we, we trust that you will be there at 6.30 for rehearsal. There is no, you, uh, I, uh, I'm having a headache. <laughs> Thanks ever so much. Good night. God bless you, Gary.
This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Cotman production. This is Palmer's Gown by Steel Chapman, Don Cannon speaking.